Hey guys, it's Ellie from Elsa's Wholesome Life. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to share with you guys a full kitchen tour slash ceramics tour because if you guys have come here from my house tour, you will know that I promised I would share a more in-depth kitchen tour um, and show you guys all of the ceramics that I have collected over the years. So I'm gonna be taking you through that today. We are also 39 weeks this Sunday, so in a couple of days. So it's getting to the pointy end of pregnancy and I wanted to squeeze this video in for you guys before life gets a little bit more chaotic. So stay tuned and I'm gonna be taking you guys for a kitchen and ceramic tour. It's just me and Oat home today. So we're gonna be doing a bit more of a vlog style. Oat isn't very good with the camera skills. So it'll just be me. She's had a fresh blow, haven't you? Oaty. Show them you do. Are you a little bit embarrassed? Are you a little bit embarrassed? She looks like a little fluffy raccoon, don't you? So you would have seen my full kitchen in my house tour video if you ha guys haven't checked that out yet. I will link it here and you can watch that video too. But this is our kitchen and where I do a lot of my filming. So we have our bar stools here for breakfast. And of course, the design of the kitchen is under the staircase with our beautiful white Smeg appliances throughout the whole kitchen. So we have a Smeg fridge as well as the coffee machine and kettle. And I honestly love the coffee machine. I think it's so easy to use. It matches our Smeg oven, which is a big six burner oven and super wide, which is great for me with all my cooking. And over here is some of my ceramics. We have this ceramic oil pourer as well as our little salt condiment dish that I just like to keep by the kitchen because that's where we do all of our cooking. Now I'm going to run you through some of the boring stuff really quickly. So we have up here just like our takeaway coffee cups and our just everyday mugs as well as a wine collection. And up here is where we keep our glasses which are mostly all in the dishwasher wine glasses and jars for smoothies. And then inside the pantry, we have this standard door pantry where I've just got like supplements up the top and some spirits, not that we drink much. Um, all my jars of dry goods on this level and more here, plus some of my Tropica products, more, lots of energy bars. And that's kind of just where I'm storing some extra jars ready to refill. I have not tidied this for you guys. So this is just like a real honest look into our pantry at the moment. So I've got like all my spices and stuff right here when I'm cooking all of our grains and extra bags of things, sauces and more little condiments here, nut butters, honey. And then that's kind of like our tea and cereal shelf up the top there. Now these things here are bins. I actually picked these up from Country Road and because they're quite nice and stylish and match the black and white of our kitchen, we can have them on show, which I think is really cool. Are you finding that boring? Oh, right, come on, be nice. Now for some more fun stuff. This is just like everyday cutlery, all our silverware, as well as all my straws for smoothies. Again, I haven't tidied this for you guys. So this is just like all of the utensils piled into the drawer. Then we just have like baking paper and those sorts of random bits and pieces. And my favorite drawer, which is all of my styling cutlery. So these are like all of my brass spoons to use for my food styling. And they're all our brand, The Wholesome Store. So we will be restocking these. Um, I think it's late July we're restocking them. So you guys will be able to get them. I know they've been out of stock for a long time, but that is my little collection. I've also got some wooden ones and some of our older stars we used to stock and some knives and forks, as well as some teaspoons. Coming over here is our double dishwasher, which I would have shown you guys in the house tour. I also have this little menu stand 
which is from Ikea. I think it's actually for iPads, but I use it for my cookbooks and my Marley Spoon recipes. So this is my blender that I use. It is a Vitamix and it is the A2500i. And I like it because it does have all these extra settings. So I use the smoothie setting a lot and I can just leave it to blend. And it has lots of different attachments so that I can make different things like smoothies or small pot for sauces, etc. Now coming under here, these are my extra ceramics because I just got some amazing shelves fitted. So I'm gonna show you all of my good ones soon. These are just like our everyday plates and bowls. And then the big plates obviously didn't fit on my shelves. So they're in here too. Down here is just the extra ones that didn't fit onto the shelves. These are ones I probably use for some styling occasionally, but there is loads to show you on the shelves. So I'm gonna wait and show you guys that instead. Coming over to this cupboard is where I keep lots of my appliances. So we've got like the hand mixer, an extra electric stove. Um, I've got my food processor and a juicer as well as all my baking dishes, mixing bowls, etc. And this little sneaky drawer down here just has lots of extra fittings and attachments for our blenders as well as some silicon food containers for when the baby's a bit older and lots of coconut smoothie bowls. And then coming over to this secret one, again, I haven't tidied it, but this is all of our Tupperware and jars, kind of just all squished in there, not much room. And the top one is where we keep all of our pots and pans. And I get a lot of questions about these pots with the wooden handle. They're like a white speckly one. Um, I got this from Harris Scarf and I believe the range is out of stock now or discontinued, but they're actually like quite cheap and the brand is Smith and & Noble. And I use these so much, they're not actually in very good condition at all. This is our little coffee station. I love this Meg espresso machine. It makes really delicious coffee. I'll show you guys some of these cups. So this one is from Cisco and the Sun, which I bought in Bali, but they also stock in some places in Australia. I've had this one for a long while and I honestly have no idea where it's from. I think I might've picked it up from a farmer's market. These are also by Cisco and the Suns. So they're little espresso cups and they do have little wooden bases that they sit on. And then this one over here is by a ceramicist called Licorice Moon. And she does these really cute big mugs with the gold and all the moons and stars and things on them. That same ceramicist, Licorice Moon, also made this one. It's the same one and it's got a little gold handle on it. So now that I have raced through the kitchen to show you guys as much as I can, if I missed anything, please let me know and I will let you guys know in the comments where it's from or what it is. Um, but now we're going to go over to the fun part, which is my brand new shelves. And I'm gonna take you guys on a little tour of all my ceramics and try to find the names of all the ceramicists because they are things that I've picked up over many years. So I'm gonna do my best and show you guys my collection. So we had these shelves installed by our builder two days ago and I was so excited because I'd always dreamt about having all my ceramics on show. So I can just grab them when I'm styling a dish and have them also so I can see them every day. I'm honestly so obsessed with ceramics. Like I just wanna keep building this collection and I'm gonna put this camera down and I'm gonna go through them and show you some of my favorites and try to give you guys some places where I've bought them from so you can get your own little ceramic collection as well. I'm also going to put a link in the description to my spoon collection from my store, The Wholesome Store. I actually designed all of these myself so you won't find them anywhere else. So I'm gonna link them below so you guys don't miss them when they do finally restock. So I'll just quickly talk you guys through this little section that we have over here. So we have a Arc soda stream machine as well as these plates over here. I actually have these ones in a little plate stand which I got from Ikea. And these ones are super thin and dainty and they're by an Australian ceramicist called Leah Jackson. They are so cute, but so thin and delicate. So I keep them specially over here. They're just so pretty. They like remind me of confetti. I also have these little ramekins 
that I use for storing jewelry and stuff in, but you can also use it in the kitchen. And we stock these ones on my brand, The Wholesome Store. And they're called the watercolor jewelry dishes. We have a Smeg toaster as well, which matches our appliances. And we like to keep it over here because it's kind of like a little toast section where we sit and have breakfast just here. So firstly, any of these drippy ones that you might see in my collection are by a ceramicist called Brian Janowski or Janinski, uh, I can't pronounce it. He is from Philadelphia and we actually stocked these ones again on our store, The Wholesome Store. So we have a new order of them coming soon. So hopefully you guys don't miss them if you're in Australia and you don't want to pay for the shipping from overseas. But he does all these really cool and unique slime mugs and cups. And I managed to keep a couple for myself. These are two of my favorite bowls at the moment. So this one is kind of just like a rustic speckly one. And I bought this from a US store called Leaf Store, L-E-I-F. And then this one also just came in the mail and it's from Urban Outfitters. So it's like a moon face plate and it is so cool. You'll also see that I use these plates loads in all my photos on Instagram. So I have three of them and they're from a brand called The Other Project. So these are from a cafe in Bali called Quince. It's a cafe and like home ceramic store. Uh, so I don't know if they currently sell them online, but if you head to Bali, make sure you check out that cafe and go and buy some ceramics. The other project also made this little small side plate, which is also that same white speckle, as well as this little ramekin, which I would use to put some little condiments in. These bowls, which are the same white speckle, and I use them for so many of my smoothie bowl photos. Um, and styling soups and things. Super nice design. I love the white speckle look. Now this is that ceramicist called Cisco in the Sun that I showed you in my kitchen. So they're also a barley brand, but stocked in a few places in Australia. So that's the name there, Cisco and the Sun, and they do so many really nice, amazing ceramics. So these ones are by Frank Void, and these are the ceramics that we stock on the Wholesome Store. So he is a local ceramicist, literally lives around the corner from us. So we're super happy to be stocking him because he's local and makes these really original and unique mugs. And we call those the speckle mugs on our store. I'll put a link below for you guys. We have more of these little pouring dishes. I use these for like maple syrup and things like that when I'm styling. And they're again by Cisco and The Sun. Clearly, I love this ceramicist. This one was a gift from one of my girlfriends at my baby shower. And it is like a little lemon squeezer zester, which is really cute and really cool. I had my eyes on it when she had it sitting out on the platter table. Um, and then this is another little side plate and it's also from Bali and it is a brand called Kivala. They are a Bali based ceramic company again. Lots of little bowls here. So I'm gonna go through them and show you guys. Firstly, we have again, Cisco in the Sun, more little side ramekins, and this one is from Kivala. Then we have some little pinch dishes, and these ones are by Pink Soy. So we stock these ones again on the Wholesome Store, but we struggle to keep stock of them because she's really, really busy, but they are so cute. So if you manage to get one when we get them in stock, then lucky you. Oh my God, this one is like probably the best one there is because it's made by this amazing ceramic artist called Ellie Watson. Joking, I actually made this one in a ceramic workshop. It's my first little attempt. What do you think? It's kind of cute. And then I have some bigger ones. I found this one in Korea, so I don't actually know where you can get it from because it's, I can't read that. And then this one is from Country Road. So it's like a speckly gray ceramic bowl. So these ones are probably my favorite of the whole collection right now. See these? They are like colorful speckle plates and I got them just recently. I'll show you the bottom of them. So this is the ceramic artist here, Christina Kozinski. And again, she's from the United States 
and we are actually working on getting these for the wholesome store so stay tuned i'm very excited about that because she has some really amazing other pieces i really when as soon as i found them i was like we need to have these on the wholesome store because they are totally our vibe and i know our customers will love them as much as we do but this would be really cute with like a little toast or some pancakes or something on it and the colors are so cute Moving on to the next shelf, you would have recognized these ones from those little dainty plates I showed you before. So these are again by that ceramic artist called Leah Jackson. But they're again cute little confetti cups and they're so dainty that I would worry about shooting those for sure. Next we have some more little, kind of like little espresso cups I'd call these. I have a feeling I bought these ones a few years ago off Etsy. So I think I might have done a little Etsy ceramic haul for these. And I don't remember who they're by, unfortunately. This one's from Kivala, that shop in Bali. And again, Cisco in the Sun. It's more of a darker speckle bowl. We have some more of those little dishes by Pink Soy. So we stock them on the Wholesome Store when we can get them. And of course, the famous booby mugs, which we also stock by Pink Soy. And again, we stock these on our store when we can get them. She's so busy because they're honestly so popular because they're so cute. Um, and every time we stock them, they sell out in like an hour. So it's really hard to keep the stock of them for you guys, but keep an eye on our website and we will hopefully have some more for you guys soon. Some more we have is this plate by Kivala. I just liked the color of it, the blue. And then I showed you these before. They're more of those other project speckly plates, which I use for like so much of my work. We also have these cute ones. I've had these in my collection for a number of years now. And it's by a local ceramic artist called Brooke Clooney. So she hand makes these ones. And I like the little color palette of that with a little drippy. Very cute. Again, I made these. So talented, guys. <laughs> Another bowl by Cisco in the Sun. And then finally, we have this one, which I picked up recently from that leaf store in the US. And it's like raw on the outside and white on the inside. And that ceramic artist is called M. Bueno. So for the final shelf, I'm gonna have to get my little step ladder so I can reach up there. I have this mug again from Cisco and the Sun. And what I love about it is that it has this little wooden base, which is really cute with the mug, Cisco and the Sun. And I just think that's really cute with the wood. I also picked up these pieces from Urban Outfitters because they were kind of like a marble resin look. I thought they'd be pretty funky with some smoothies and other recipes, but they are actually by a brand called Born, made in Turkey. And they're enamel, so they're not really breakable. So we're down to the last pieces of my collection. Um, I think this one might've been again from the farmer's market. Same with this one, I don't remember. I think it might've been a little store up on the Sunshine Coast and it has no name on it. It's got a B on it, sorry. There is a tiny little B. That's all we're going off. This one, again, no idea. It might have been a gift from a friend and it doesn't say on the bottom. So I don't know. It kind of actually looks like a little bit Japanese. So maybe it's from a Asian country or store. And then last but not least, another Cisco and Sun one. I obviously love their stuff because I've got so much of it in my collection. Oh, and I might just also show you this plate here as well that I have sitting on the table. It's like a shell plate and it's by Urban Outfitters. I think it's their own brand. But I have this one just sitting on the counter as like more of a decoration than actually for food styling because it's a bit of a funny shape. I think it would actually look really cute in a bathroom too. So guys, that concludes my kitchen and ceramic tour. I hope you found this useful. I know I find looking at ceramics and kitchen stuff so soothing because it's like my little addiction. So I hope having a look at my collection will fuel some of you ceramic addicts little 
obsession as well um, and yeah thank you guys for watching if I missed anything you have any questions just drop them below and I'm usually really good at getting back to them so I'll try to get back to you guys unless of course I am having this baby but I'm sure I'll be up all times of the night feeding and on my phone so I will try to get back to you guys and yeah I'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching oh and Oats got to say bye say bye to everyone how good's your little spot? <laughs> oh, you're so cute. You're so cute and so fluffy. <laughs> she honestly looks like a different dog. Hello. <gasps> bye. Say bye, everyone.